Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, animals, minerals, and vegetables. Hello, how are you all? <laughs> Let me know if the voice, if uh, if the volume's too loud or too short or too quiet. Uh, at the moment, I'm actually away from home, so I'm on in a little Airbnb in Scotland, in an on an island called Orkney. Uh, so I'm using kind of different internet, a laptop computer, not my usual setup, uh, but I'm I want to do this live stream. Um, all oh, right, you can't hear anything. Um, boo, 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 boo. it is not intentional. Oh, yeah, okay, cool, cool. I was like, and straight away, it's gone horribly wrong. Um, anyway, so, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, animals, minerals, vegetables, we're here. I'm going to be going, um, what I'm going to be doing today, I've got a little, um, it's, um, it's a live stream really for uh, the air ambulance and um, so uh, there's a great north air ambulance it's world gaming day today and i've been asked to uh do a live stream and sort of um help people uh, donate anything that they can uh towards the air ambulance or just have an awareness of it really as well um to to kind of do that and i thought what i'd be doing because i haven't done youtube for a very 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 long time and the reason for that is because I have been making Minecraft maps instead. And I'm going to be showing you a couple of Minecraft maps. Now, both of them are actually online right now. So the first one is called Kind Book Week. And it's for uh, an organization in the Netherlands. And if you if you use this one now, and I'll probably type and it's control and copy and let's pop it into the chat as well. If you, it's for Java and Bedrock, you can actually join on Java or Bedrock, so it doesn't matter which version of uh, of Minecraft you're choosing, you can actually choose both of them. Um, I miss one request as well. <laughs> Hopefully this is, uh, so this is this one, uh, and I'll join, I'll pop in, and I'll show you um, some of the work that we've been doing. So, oh my goodness, it's back up here so fast, let's... let's on the floor and clear my inventory not clipboard gotta clear my inventory not everybody's hello super kelvin this so everything so if you don't speak dutch then you will not be able to read all this but um but it's a pretty good uh, it's a pretty good server so basically where we are right now is in a giant bookshop so it's very wonder quest-esque let me fly up and show you a little bit around of this this place. So what I do now is, what I do for my day job really, is I make Minecraft maps for a living uh, for a variety of different organizations. And uh, this is this has been a really good challenge for me to do. So this is a, a giant bookshop. And there's loads of really hidden elements to it as well. So if you, uh, there are kind of, you know, books on, books on the shelves. There's uh, little uh, houses that you can kind of wander in. Uh, and there's also secret passages around the back as well. So it's kind of like you can kind of wander around this place and we've, it's very densely built kind of Minecraft experience. So there's a bookshop in the front and in the back, if you go through this sort of book, giant book over here, I'm, I can fly around because it's, uh, you know, I'm in charge of the server, but everybody else is like on, uh, you're in the survival mode. So you have to kind of make your way on foot around the whole place. Bedrock blurry eyes emoji. Yeah, it is pretty pretty. So here we are in there so there's two organizations. There's like kind of book week one, which is a, about really promoting reading and stuff like that within uh, for kids. And also there's another one, uh, another organization called Ur, uh, and they are and they promote things like um, nature and uh, you know things like that. So in the back here in the back garden area, we've got natural things. So we've got some birds in the in the top over here we've got a bug hotel so there's a giant like bug hotel and if you kind of fly down if you go in here they can kind of meet some bugs so there's an insect in here and there's a beetle and there's other kind of people there as well you can kind of meet and um if i fly down my favorite part though is there's an ant hill oops so we've got kind of cool little cute little ants uh moving around here we've got uh we've got uh a work aimer um, and if we go down here into the anthill, 
There's a whole underground area as well. It is huge, this map. Now, I say it's a map, it's also a plot world as well. So there's a competition for people in the Netherlands uh, to build a treehouse. Uh, so I'll show you that in just a moment. I'll show you everybody's kind of amazing work that people have been doing, but I'll just show you the kind of cool, uh, the cool queen ant right at the end. Isn't that amazing? I wonder if I could press, um, I wonder if I've got my, um, I have any shaders? Maybe not. But anyway, cool. That's better. <laughs> I think I think I got into cinematic mode there for a moment. My accent. I was like, no, 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 no. We don't want cinematic mode. It'll be a sort of slow camera pans around everywhere. Anyway, this is the underground bit. Let's head back up. Uh, the outside bit up here so it is pretty so basically today i'm going to show you two really really pretty maps <laughs> like i invite anybody who wants to kind of come and join uh to kind of join and, and on the server and just have a little and then we can kind of do some meetups and take some pictures together and stuff like that as well and also talk about the air ambulance because it's basically it's a charity stream whoops i'm kind of stuck somewhere okay here we go so if i if we if i can fly up everywhere because i've got uh, permissions but Let's fly down here and I'll show you the plot world. So basically this is a plot world server. So this is this uh, uh, this is basically on a giant uh, one single plot in the middle. And everybody can, and, and, and it's free for anybody to kind of join in. There is a competition for uh, children in the Netherlands uh, to build a tree house. So it's the most extraordinary tree house. So when we're flying around here, we can kind of see all these incredible uh, cool tree houses and it basically there's a competition if you build the best tree house uh, at the end of October there will be a it, all, all the ones will be judged people can submit their tree houses <laughs> really amazing look at this one and uh, and the winner will go and uh, be able to stay in a real tree house so it's quite a kind of nice kind of cool competition uh, but it's only open to people who live in the Netherlands because uh, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to fly anybody around the world. Um, was, I thought that was a teapot for a moment. I got very excited. But there's been lots. I mean, there's there's over like two thousand plots last time. That was last week. I, there's probably even more. There might even be two and a half, three thousand plots now, and they seem to go on and on and on and on forever. If, if you're familiar with the um, with plot world stuff, I'll, if I just log out and log out, if, if you log out and then log back in again, you get back to the center. Uh, back to the start, oops. And here are the kind of, um, here are the things. So if you go forward, spla uh, forward splash, <laughs> forward slash, plot auto, uh, that automatically gets you a plot and you get teleported to it. Or plot claim will do the same thing. Or if you've got a friend on the server and you want to go and visit their plot and they've got their, you know, you, you don't know where everybody is because it kind of randomly do, does that kind of stuff for you, then you can kind of go plot visit and then, you know, wizard keen and then you'll just, you'll just zip to that uh, plot uh, immediately and go and visit them. Okay. So that is pretty cool. So I'm going to just show you. So We've got a couple of NPCs. The really cool thing about this is, obviously, it is it does run on bedrock at the same time. Uh, obviously, not um, not console versions of it, but if you've got an iPad or um, uh, you know PC version of it, or, or kind of even a Kindle version of it, I've, I've seen people join with it with that. Uh, then you can you can kind of do that. But the uh, the consoles don't. Don't easily, I say that easily, don't easily let people um, actually join um, public servers, alas. Uh, but yeah, we've got we've got kind of like, so we're in the Netherlands, we've got kind of an Amsterdam area behind the, uh, behind the counter. We've got this kind of cash machine. And again, as I said, everything is very explorable. So inside the cash machine, you can actually go inside it and have a little visit. <sighs> Big yawn then. Um, and um, yeah, so there's lots of sort of hidden secrets. There is also in here, there's some rockets 
and if you get to visit the birds so basically there's a mini bird quest so if you go to if you manage to get to the bird if you get this to this this bird house here then you go to this bird house here and then eventually you'll get to this bird house here whoops okay um and uh, you can pick up some wings and then you can then you can get rockets and you can fly everywhere as well so it becomes a lot easier a lot more fun uh, to kind of fly about the place um once you're in the plot world area it's you're in creative mode anyway so you're only in adventure mode um in it when you're in this plot here and it's just to really stop people kind of flying about all over the place it's more fun to explore on foot i think <laughs> See, so, yeah, there we go. Pretty cool. So if you have the chance, do jump, come and join us. Or if you want to take note of the, uh, the server address, you, you're very welcome to. I'll put the server address on in a minute. I'll ha I'm gonna be I'm gonna be here for a couple of hours. Let's see. So it's like um, in the UK, it's just gone past two thirty. I'm gonna do a couple of hours uh, online. I'm gonna take a couple of breaks in there as well. Make myself cups of tea, and. Um, uh, and relax a little bit so it's going to be very chilled out so just if you want to come and go that, that's more than welcome and of course this is going to be the stream is going to be recorded so it'll be online for everybody to watch a bit later on too if anybody's got any questions about how how we build this stuff or kind of you know what, what kind of you know about wonder quest <laughs> I'll, I'll be happy to talk about that wonder quest unfortunately it isn't going to come back i'm afraid uh Wonder Quest was the was the most amazing show. I really really did enjoy it. Me and Stanby had a great time kind of producing uh, that show together. Uh, but uh, Maker Studios kind of got um, kind of got bought by Disney, and um, and then you know everything kind of went um, went a bit pear shaped really. I think the exploring on foot bit makes sense because like everything it feels so huge and cool. Yeah, absolutely. Like when you're building in creative, it's good to kind of be in creative mode out here, but what we, we wanted people to kind of think to explore the book and winkle which is bookshop um in a way that kind of made sense for them imagining that you are like a tiny person almost like a borrower um so why is wonder quest owned by disney how could that yeah well disney so stampy um when wonder quest first came out it was um it was it was produced by Stampy and Maker Studios. So Maker Studios were were kind of um, the uh, big studios in America, uh, and they ran uh, all these different kind of YouTubers and sold advertising for them and things like that. Um, and they became a kind of production space for YouTubers as well, which was amazing. And when that when and they became so big. Uh, that of course they they were acquired by Disney Studios, at the, at, at, you know, at, at some point. And I think what Disney wanted to do was acquire that talent pool of creators. They weren't really interested in in acquiring the shows necessarily, but they did want to acquire the you the kind of YouTubers and the audiences that came with them. And of course, you had things people like Stampy, you had uh, PewDiePie, and everybody else was in Maker Studios. So that's kind of, you know you had really really big names and really big stars and also kind of all that kind of talent about how to produce this kind of stuff and so they were investigating they spent money really to kind of investigate what was this what was what was the what was youtube what was streaming what was it was the talent pool like and how how could they understand that and i think that is actually why they bought it so they bought the people not the shows necessarily so when um you know at the end of the day that's why i think it kind of it um it it got kind of cut, you know, which is a real shame. I mean, what I would like to do is, uh, you know, what I'm working on right now is to to try and produce another show similar in feeling to Wonder Quest, a kind of uh, a weekly show uh, with a, you know, with a kind of um, a few 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 friends, few big kind of YouTuber stars, but essentially. A really good show for both young and old alike so no, no matter what age you, you are it should be a fun kind of show to kind of enjoy and watch uh, based in minecraft um and, <laughs> and, and strangely very similar to the kind of builds that i'm building at the moment i like things that are really giant and um i like things that um uh, that you know a group of cool, fun friends can 
can do a kind of weekly adventure and have fun with that's what those are the kind of things and, and do a kind of like almost like a seasonal uh show so kind of do t at least 10 episodes uh all together and then and then see how it kind of goes like that yeah yeah um okay so let's um i'm going to go out and have and just do a kind of review of some of the builds that are outside um in a minute but i just sort of inside we had a kind of couple of other kind of little secret things so basically for the book week there are there are this this book here is given to there's like 300,000 children uh given this book um uh and it's a book about uh this kind of um a couple of people in it. there's there's tree houses in it and things like that and so this book is given out it there's a uh, a bookmark in the book with details about how to join this server so that's how how we've kind of advertised that the fact there's been a sort of server and you can kind of come and play it on here as well now so we've had lots and lots of people join in uh, and have fun and start building and i think the kind of um one of the interesting things is sometimes when you make the minecraft stuff um when I make Minecraft stuff, at least, what I want to do is I want as many people to experience it as possible. I want, you know, a really, really big audience of people and get kind of that kind of feedback and just um, and make something that lo lots and lots of people can enjoy. And I think that's kind of what, you know, that's one of the things that motivates me. I, you know, I like I like making things and uh, and inviting people to kind of play on that kind of those kind of spaces. And I think that's kind of, you know, with with shared plot worlds like this is really amazing because you can be anybody right you can just so we, you know we've made the big thing in the middle but all these little things around here all of all these individual plots there for the world to see at the same time um and at the end of this um at the end of this uh this session it, it, this will be live online for a while but after it's after it's not live anymore we'll take a copy of the world and we'll put the world up so people can download it themselves. So as I think, if you spend time, and this is one of the things that I think about Minecraft that I think is really interesting. If you spend time making something in Minecraft, it's 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 equivalent to doing a painting, making a really detailed drawing, uh, or making some pottery or sculpture that you're really proud of. You, it's a it's you know you're using your own creative energy. Um, over a period of time and pouring that energy into something that is as real as anything else you know um uh, and i think we have to value that and and appreciate the kind of effort and creativity that people do even if it, even if your creativity is a burning tree <laughs> uh you know that is that is somebody's journey I mean, look at this. some of this stuff is really, really gorgeous. Oh, I better just make sure my back is not set. I'm going to turn off. There we go. Um, <laughs> that was close. I, I plugged my laptop in, but I hadn't actually turned it on at the plug. Uh, so, yeah, so that's kind of, you know, that's me banging on about creativity and all that kind of stuff. But I love all this stuff. There's so much detail in each plot. There's so many plots to look at. I do. Uh, fortunately, I'm not actually in charge of uh, judging the final, you know, the final things. So I don't. Uh, I don't envy them. Right. So I'll just talk a little bit about um, the air ambulance. If you don't know, the air ambulance is a. Um, uh, there's they operate in the north of england and uh if you live rurally um which i do i live you know i currently live in the north of england and we live rurally and you suddenly get ill uh sometimes getting to a hospital can be quite difficult for an ambulance to come so, so we actually do rely on air ambulances in actual fact a friend of mine's mother who is 93 years old who just she had a heart attack at her um uh, her, her with this uh this kind of home and um the air ambulance came picked her up uh flew her like 300 miles to a cardiac hospital uh where she had a little in, in a little operation which saved her life and uh and now she's back home and fit as a fiddle 
pretty amazing stuff. So we, you know, that's that's what kind of really motivated me to kind of help um, support the air ambulance people uh, when they approached me when they said, "Oh, we're doing this kind of it's World Gaming Day today. Would you like to help?" And I was like, "Yep." <laughs> so amazing that there is a World Gaming Day as well. I hope uh, do let me know in the chat comments and chat. I don't know what video games you're currently playing. Um, it's, you know, because it's interesting for me. People say, oh, do you, you know, what an amazing job. You play Minecraft every day. And it's like, oh, I, do I play Minecraft or do I make things in Minecraft? <laughs> I think I make things in Minecraft. I haven't played Minecraft properly, like vanilla Minecraft, for a long time. I might do, I might, uh, I might start a server and do kind of a, maybe a let's play one day, maybe next year. Snitchy poo, hey. So, it's good to have uh, a couple of people in the chat as well. So, thank you for us for coming along. <laughs> yeah, I yeah I love. Um, I still play. I sort of play, play. I play things other people have made more than more than uh, vanilla Minecraft. Oh, I like this one. What is happening here? Ah, oh, we've got the spawners. I might um, get rid of these. The spawners can create lag. I thought we had killed all the spawners. What's underneath? Dun, 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 dun. What's in here? A book. Things, maps. Uh, oh, what's that? Is it a diamond helmet. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. So Solaris of Cat has said in the chat. Uh, I mean, I'll see with the building in Minecraft versus playing. What do you consider play? Is play not an art form in itself? Is it actually yes? I do. I consider myself very lucky to be able to um, and I think that's maybe the role of an artist. What do I do? What does an artist do in a way? And I think an artist is, a, is that kind of combination of play and creativity. So kind of the, the building part of something is very, very much playing with playing with ideas and form and color, you know, because, um, you know, Minecraft is really good at that form and color and, and other bits and pieces. Let me see who he's got. Who this is. I'll just take a picture. <laughs> Get rid of the pigs. Get rid of the pigs. Okay. I'll get one of my minions to go out there. Uh, would you be interested in playing? I can't quite read that. HVP. Is that what it says? I played a couple of like survival servers and things like that, and I think I, I think a kind of like people like Hermitcraft. That that's that sounds kind of appealing for me. Uh, if I was to go down that that kind of path, I think the 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 issues I have is is time. Uh, I'm exceptionally busy making this stuff for other people. It's kind of you know it's it's it, we all have jobs, right? So my job is kind of you know I I I uh, I mainly I I help put products together and I help kind of so let me let me try and find the um, let's disconnect and connect again. Uh, join the server. Um, oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't put the back. Let's find it. It's going to be around here somewhere. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, that's nice. I'm, I get very distracted. Ooh, that's nice as well. That's some beautiful builds. I'm quite jealous of other people's. And that's the nice thing about plot worlds that I really love. Some people have got. An extraordinary gift for 
thinking things up and making it happen. Um, if it's this way. The, the render distance is super low. So we'll probably fly past it. That's a nice one too. Oh, I like this. Oh, this is like um, uh, Yggdrasil, the world tree. The kind of, you know, the Norse world tree, Yggdrasil. So these are the nine realms. Very cool. Clever. Right, let's try diagonally. Diagonally. We'll reach the edge of the world soon. Yeah. So, uh, uh, no, it's over there. Okay. I'll do plot home. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. This is for my star. I didn't really finish. I thought I thought a, ch a ch ship in a, in a tree might be fun. Um, yeah, so let's talk about what I did. So I, there, if you follow my Instagram account, there's, um, you can kind of see, I started, this is, this has started as a drawing, um, and a sketch. And then we turn that drawing and sketch into Minecraft stuff really kind of slowly and, and, and steadily, uh, and try and figure out, try and figure out. How big can you make it without it being too big or too small? And it's those kind of questions that kind of like, you know, take time and stuff. Um, and then what kind of information do we put in there? Where is this? Where's the player going to start? How, what are we going to, how is the player going to understand what is going on? How do we get the player to move around? Uh, so there are kind of these pinned things and you can kind of, you know, you can kind of, walk around here there's 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 some areas where you can kind of go behind the scenes and we've kind of decorated it so uh and it's a team of people who kind of build this stuff together so i kind of did the drawing and the main features and then i get kind of a whole range of other people to kind of do some more detailing and kind of you know make it uh, make it a more playability stuff and get uh, people to think about how um Oh, high pixel bed wars is what I mean. Oh yeah, I I haven't played bed wars in a long time. I I might do I might do a kind of a bed wars thing because I think the great thing about high pixel is it's um, it's kind of it's quite casual. <laughs> it's like you know you don't have to sink too much time into it. It's this kind of just quick five minute games that are kind of fun and interesting. Uh, at the moment, I'm I am moving house, uh, so things are gonna. Um, my setup is gonna be. I'm gonna have to, you know. Well, whenever you move house, you've got to kind of shift and think about where things are gonna be and all that kind of stuff. So, at the moment, we're that's why we're kind of in Orkney um, with our new house, setting it up. But well, I won't be moving until the end of November, so it's gonna be quite a while. And I think um, once we've moved, then I think I think in the new year I might do some uh, some more live streams and get back into that. And I definitely want to do tell it, doing some of my stories and doing um, doing some other kind of video stuff as well. So anyway, this this one's book week, okay. And I'm going to go and show you another map. Which is Judocraft. So, um, and there is no one in there. So, if I just edit this, you can kind of go if you want to join. And again, you can join both on um, Bedrock and Java Editions, the latest versions of both. It's judocraft.org. And I will join the server and I'll show you this one. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So here, um, last year I did uh, I did a big project and it was for the International Judo Federation. We be live at half four, probably not a half four snitchy poo. 
to be quite honest with you. I've got to go and pick up the rest of the family who are actually doing. I'm I've, I'm skiving off, bit doing the house today, <laughs> cleaning the house, the new house that we're moving into, uh, by doing this live stream for a charity. So I'm to, I've I've sneak, snuck away, and they they they've, they're back at the house doing the kind of work. I'm I'm going to go back and pick them up about half four. Um, so unfortunately, I won't be there. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what build to build on the plot. Yeah. Well, I would do. Um. Okay. The competition was for cr the craziest treehouse you can ever imagine. So you know, go wild on that one. And the thing is about the thing about plots is you can kind of you know you don't have to be too precious about things you can kind of build stuff and then tear it down and build it and tear it down and just you know see what you fancy the this new map is coming out very shortly so we this is the online version of it um i'll read you the thing out here so welcome to the mystery of the kodakan hidden around this beautiful map are seven different judo belts each judo belt is represented by a judo character scan the qr code that you find at every judo belt and collect all the downloadable judo cards uh, it says the black won't be the most difficult one to find but it's it's more than worth uh, it's more than worth it give it a try why? What is it? Well, the Black World gives you access to a unique Minecraft Judo skin. The challenge will be available to complete until the end of November. After that, you'll never be able to receive the Minecraft Judo skin ever again. Oh my goodness. Uh, so what are you waiting for? Go and collect them all. Now again, I'm in creative mode because I'm the creator, uh, but everybody else is on foot. Uh, so it's actually quite difficult. So uh, let me show you the size of this place that we're talking about. So the Kodokan, for those who don't know, is uh, is an actual building in Tokyo. Uh, and it, this is what it kind of looks like. And it's in a Tokyo street. But we've, we've because this is Minecraft and we can kind of go creative, we've transformed it into kind of like this fantastical fantasy world. Um, and we can, we can kind of start to talk a little bit about the history of judo um and what and explain kind of what judo is and uh, and other things like that so that's what we're kind of doing with this map we're kind of looking at the history of judo and uh, it's going to be an educational map both on minecraft education edition and bedrock edition later on this year okay by the end of the year hopefully if not christmas is it hopefully by christmas but uh, it may it, it's difficult to get things through because there's so much competition for uh, Minecraft maps um, on Marketplace at Christmas that it's so long to get, uh, there's such a long delay to get things out. I'll do my best to get it out and then you can, guys can play it. But let me fly up and give you kind of like a bird's eye view of everything. So this map, let me see if I can actually, um, Increase my render distance. I mean, it's on a server, so it won't go too far, but there we go. We'll give you a kind of a flavor of it. It is a big map. This map, well, I did not build this map. I've got a, um, I'm very lucky to know. Uh, Ava Studios, who are an excellent build team, and I've worked with them on many different kind of projects, and they were the people who built this map. So again, starts with the drawing, starts with me kind of trying to figure it stuff, figure stuff out. Stitcher so is saying, "I hope you play Bed Wars." Maybe I will. Uh, maybe I will. Maybe I'll try and play. Um, so we've got a huge, huge map, but you've got to go on foot. What mods are we using in this one? To build, there's, they use a whole variety of different kind of building mods. Um, within this map, uh, particularly, we've got kind of essentials and, um, and a few other just protection mods to protect the build and things like that. 
purple glowy things i know i know so because we wanted to kind of have like kind of like a japanese feel to it so we've got this kind of like <laughs> kind of japanese purple glowy electric kind of space and i'm going to fly down here and show you kind of one of these uh, one of these qr codes so if you find one of these, it says, congratulations, you found the purple belt. Scan the QR code for your personal judo card. So each of these QR codes, if you take a picture of it with your phone, uh, you should be able to then get a, um, a, a special kind of like PDF of, of a character that we've kind of done. That's kind of exclusive. So it's, it's like a um, hide and, not hide and seek, but kind of like a treasure hunt. Uh, kind of style map. Hello, Rusty. I hope you're well. Let's go underwater. If you get stuck, by the way, on this map, just log out and log back in again. And you should. Uh, it should be okay. So it's blushing down. So again, remember, uh, everybody can get onto this map if you want to. Um, if we go down here, we can actually go into the code cam. So we've actually, when we got commissioned to do this project, um, the the people from the code cam, which is a real building, they sent us a video of somebody actually walking around the building. So we kind of have to. So it's, it's a combination of kind of trying to make something look really realistic and faithful to a real place, and at the same time playful like a Minecraft place. So yeah, it's really, it's quite challenging for someone who, who like me, who wants to tell stories. Treasure hunts are fun. There's a, there's a lift. We haven't done the lift mechanics yet. Uh, we'll, we'll be doing that for, um, um, we'll be doing that for, uh, for the Minecraft, for the bedrock version of it. We, I'm actually using, I use fabric uh, mainly for kind of, um, for, for mods on my client, yeah. yeah. Just because they're stable, you know, you can use the latest version with them and stuff like that. Whatever works really. I don't, you know, I haven't got a kind of, um, a, um, you know, it's like, oh, we can't use this because, you know. Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, on foot, again, on f from the player perspective, sometimes I actually don't like creative, you know, because, like, with creative, you know, because you can fly around and things like that, you just you see the world from a, a weird viewpoint. In actual fact, when you're building Minecraft things, it's better to think about where the player perspectives coming from so always you know see what the player can see and it makes much more sense so we've made paths around the place uh, to help players kind of locate themselves and walk to different areas so i'm going to try and find another qr code now I, uh, I placed them all, so I should know where they all are. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I've got, I still use uh, Minecraft 1.12.2 because <laughs> cause there are certain programs and certain mods that um, just haven't been updated, but I love them so much, you know, um, that I've always got a kind of a, you know, an old, old school Minecraft. And there's so much you can do now as well. So you can, you can kind of, um, you can make something in 1.12 <laughs> and then, and then, and then figure out a way of making it, um, making it work. I just, um, I've got, I've got a few different kind of, whoops flying everywhere. I've got a few different um, programs that help me change one block to another block. So here we go. This is the yellow belt. Um, so yeah, we have to find all the different belts. So when we, when, this this map eventually, and I'll show you some of the kind of amazing builds. 
really beautiful kind of paddy fields. Um, what's that? So we have hidden some things rather sneakily. Go down here. Uh yes. I wish yeah, it was a bit weird the zombie pigman debacle. So there's one down there too. Um it kind of yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure what um I, I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to play the latest version, especially with you know, I haven't I haven't met a frog in real you know in Minecraft yet, and I think I'd like to meet the frog and and see all those kind of new animals that are out there and you know um, actually kind of play it as it's been intended. We have a launcher that has multiple different instances. Um, a one point nine, yeah, exactly. So I tend to build initially, especially doing grey builds. And because I tend to do big organic kind of structures, I tend to do that in 1.12. And then I might color it in a little bit. But um, we, we've been quite lucky, kind of, you know, I like, there's a couple of um, server um, server mods that I like, uh, kind of a painting one uh, called Go Paint. And you can use pretty much the latest version of Minecraft for that, which is good. Oh yeah, I'll show you this up here. This is pretty cool. So again, I um, I didn't build a lot of this. I love the, I love this this new all the, all the new um, blocks. Um, but the great thing about um, the, the you know our build team uses World Edit. Um, and the fast async world edit version. Oops. And uh, and probably a kind of probably a kind of a, a voxel sniperist type thing. I think you can kind of do that with this. But you've got um, biome painting. What is biome painting? Well, it means that we've got water. Depending on the different biome you're in, will change the color of the water or the grass. And so you've got this kind of beautiful. Um, tropical kind of water look there and then we've got this kind of pu almost purple uh, water kind of color and there's another kind of different color so you've got this the um the creators of uh have painted different biomes to make this kind of like really zing and sing it's amazing yeah maybe yeah i wonder if we can have a resource pack with kind of zombie pigment still in it. Oh yeah, up here there's uh, another another Minecraft belt. I think this is my favourite area. I think it's my favourite cover. I don't know if you guys play Destiny, um, the Bungie game. I play it, and there's a, there's a there's a kind of a planet that looks a bit like this. Really cool. Right, so there's that. Let's have a look at the other place I like and I think is kind of magical. That's over here a little bit. Okay, maybe it's not over there a bit. <laughs> there's a, I'm looking for a cave, and in the cave, I oh, in the cave. Cool. Yeah, let's go. In the cave, there's. The, there's the uh, a belt that you can kind of get. But you've got to be good at parkour. That's the thing. We haven't made it that easy. Okay. It is a land of magic. Look at the candle. Look at this. the same color. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm making a kind of, I don't know if you've, there's, back in the, probably the 80s, right, late 80s, uh, 
There was a film called Inner Space. And it's like a, a person in a submarine got injected into somebody's body and they kind of flew, flew around the kind of, you know, uh, their bloodstream and things like that. So I'm making a Minecraft map at the moment that is like in a space. So you're kind of, you're microscopic. Um, and we've made the water red. It, uh, it, so you're kind of, you know, you're the size of a blood cell. So you've got these giant kind of blood cells. So we've made, we've turned fish into blood cells and all that kind of stuff. So it's really kind of cool. So this is our kind of, um, I must have uh, lighting on pretty high. Let's see if I can kind of make my way up here. I think most of the puzzle with this stuff, kind of stuff is not knowing where to go um, initially. But basically, look for a ladder and find go up ladders. This looks like the beginning bit. I've got to watch out for not flying accidentally. Okay. Maybe this one. Alright. <laughs> okay, cool. Here. Okay. Ah, about there. Right now I'm at the top. Ah. Okay. It's not not too difficult. I have got my brightness way up, by the way. When I um, play on the um, bedrock, it's much darker. Oh. <laughs> well, let's pretend I made that jump. And then down here. Oh, there it is. Well, I went. Uh, spoil it. There we go. And you can see there's some biome painting in here, some dark purpley kind of bits and bits and pieces. Really nice stuff. So again, and I like um, look at these as sort of reeds. Really clever use of glass. And uh, you know, you can. S it's weird the the water and glass um, render errors. Can you see that? How it kind of yeah, a bit weird. A bit weird. But there we go. Uh, I'm going to take a short mini comfort break and I will be back at half part on the half past an hour. So that's it. I'm going to be back in about 10 minutes. So, uh, and once I'm back, I think what I'll do is I will have a little look around the inside of the coder can and, um, and we'll have a, a little explore of that so um, yeah and that's that should that should take me up to about uh four o'clock and then uh, we'll wrap it up then uh, so have a little comfort break yourself have get yourself a drink drinks remember always drink some water and uh and i'll see you guys very shortly i'll just uh go back to what well, when parkour didn't want to be parkour mm, quite uh see you in a minute i'm gonna have a cup of tea
Oh, I crashed Minecraft. <laughs> Let's try and get Minecraft back. Let's get something on the screen. Oh, my fans are starting up. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Hopefully Minecraft will be fine. I'll have a quick look at a couple of things. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think we're back. Come on. Ah, oh, awesome. Well, I tell you what, we'll we'll do. I'll do a little bit in the Coda Can. I'm going to sort of wrap up that. I just want to kind of walk to the top of the Coda Can, show you the kind of the main judo area, and then I'm going to flip back to the bookshop, and I'd love to see. Uh, um, Solaris the cat, what you've been building. So I might um, pop to your, um, your build there, and then I'll probably end the stream because I think I'm. I think I think round about four o'clock, all the all the kids kind of come back from school and stuff, and we yeah, uh, the internet sort of slows down a bit. Right, back to game. Right, let's go around here, and I'm going to sort of walk up around um, around the code through into the code account. So the amazing kind of building, there's an amazing history uh, to the Kodakan, and it's kind of where, well, it's partly where the kind of origins of the um, uh, of judo and beginnings of it uh, really started. So I'm going to go up the stairs up this way. There's a little stairwell here. In the actual final game, what we're going to be doing is we'll be having a lift that will go up kind of four floors, but then you have to take stairs to the last few floors. Oh, here we go. Uh, and we'll also kind of have some a bit more signage uh, and be really more, more helpful about kind of guiding people around uh, around the kind of area because it is a bit of a maze. It's a bit of a maze. There we go. Is this it? Now, these are practice. There are some practice uh, do dojos um, at the bottom, so we need to go up one, up one more. Maybe I'll go to the other end. And of course, as well, part of, part of the kind of part of this when we do the final map, we're, we're, the final map, you know, I'm kind of giving away the secrets. There'll be it, it's you're going to go through kind of. Uh, magical portals uh, to uh, to sort of different areas um, to different times and places and spaces and go right to the top here we go so this is the main kind of uh, Arena, Kodokan Arena. If you Google Kodokan, uh, you might see images very, very similar to this. So we've kind of recreated it really well in Minecraft, uh, and I think it kind of, uh, you know, really demonstrates uh, what happens. And also, kind of like, so people who kind of appreciate uh, judo, this is almost like a pilgrimage to kind of the or where the origins of judo are, and the creator uh, Jigoro Kano, he's got a kind of a, a chair. And a table, and kind of there's a little portrait of him up there as well. And so this is kind of a very important um, uh, place for people, practitioners of judo, uh, and those people who are interested in the history of judo itself as well. So we're, you know, part of that is is recreating it here. And that's kind of cool up there. Um, so there we go. So I just wanted to kind of just make my way up up the top of the stairs and sort of see how that kind of works. Um, let's jump back into the book week and see if I can find, um, let's see who's in here. Cat in a cake shop. Is that you? Let's do plot visit. Cat. 
cat in the cake shop. <laughs> cat in the cake shop. Boom. Right. This looks very familiar. Look, st stampy skin. <laughs> oh, I'm not wearing my uh, wizard keen skin. Oh, I well, I, let's show you what I am wearing. If I can turn myself, I'm wearing. Look at this <laughs> crazy skin. So I ran a workshop the other day. So for those people who are like, why aren't you wearing your wizard keen skin? So I ran a workshop, and the workshop is basically. Um, You've got um, you can draw on paper, kind of like a micro skin with felt tips and things like that, and then take a picture of it with your phone, and the phone kind of instantly turns it into a micro skin like this. So this is me. This is a a demonstration uh, of of my micro skin. Those wings look good, don't they? Anyway, so that's what's going on here. So I thought, um, yeah, let's go and have a look, see what a cake in the shop is making. Maybe. Maybe Cake and Shop is making Cake and Shop. Is that lovely? I'm building a tiny bookshop. Yeah, that's nice. Like a, a replica of the of the big bookshop, which would be amazing. Yeah, I'd love it. I love it. Um, that's going to be fantastic. Okay, let's go round and we'll, we'll come back. I'll come back and see how you get on with your bookshop over there. But uh, I'm going to go around. I'm going to kind of look at ones that I think are kind of a bit <laughs> this is pretty cool <laughs> look at this person <laughs> they've kind of what's it say here Steve okay let's walk, walk down the stairs what's in the thing spyglass of course and again I haven't used a spyglass re really in Minecraft properly I don't mean as part of the vanilla game. In fact, I just haven't done that. I wonder how. I think that would be really cool, actually, to kind of play vanilla Minecraft and just and to actually to one of the achievements to do a spyglass. <laughs> how do you craft it? Does anybody know? I love the the zoom. 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 Great. I've got a spike glass, which is awesome. Let's go down here. Down the stairs. I wonder if they built the stairs first and they're going to kind of build something around it. That's how. That's often how I do things. Right. Because sometimes when you, if you build something first and then try and build a path through it it doesn't work as well yeah, it sometimes gets stuck oh, I brought wings on. anyway that was nice let's have a look at some other ones i'm gonna i want to see i want to find something kind of detailed and complex <laughs> not that um that's quite detailed i like the little characters that people have put in like this one's got quite a few um, few different characters. It's all in Dutch, which I don't understand Dutch. Can't get up there. Ah, nice. oh, like a cloud with a uh, lightning coming out of it. Very cool. Hi. <laughs> Send me messages in Minecraft by writing it on the side of a building. <laughs> Over there. Mm -hmm. This this is this looks like it's got stuff on the inside. So let's give it a go. Right, let's give it a go. Let's let's pop ourselves in. And don't forget um, to visit. There's a link in the description uh, for the air ambulance. It hasn't got that. It's not that interesting on the inside. I was hoping for a little bit more. But it looks like a work in progress, so you know, let's not let's not write it off just to, just yet. We'll come back. To, I'll come back to that another time. What else is around here? That is quite complicated. That dragon is amazing. 
great work. This looks fairly complicated. Let's go over here and have a, a little a little walk through here. So can I get in? Yeah. Some bees. Lovely. Let's climb up the treehouse. Very nice sort of seating area over here. I love um, I love ways of um, of creating kind of domestic areas in Minecraft. Mm -hmm. Nice. A little laptop, mouse, <laughs> a bed. It's like this is where I sleep. This is where I game. <laughs> Not too far away <laughs> from each other. Okay, a little secret room, or maybe not secret room, a branch library, more library. It's where I like books. Very nice. Mm. Of course, the theme is bookshop. And this has been the thing that surprised me the most about the book, sh the book week area, is that, I thought, is that a giant cookie? Who knows? Is that you know the call to action has was basically build a crazy treehouse. That is what everybody's done, and that I'm highly impressed with everybody's effort towards that. You don't need to do what we ask, but those, the fact that people have done it and the fact that it's kind of really captured people's imagination. There's so much content in here um, that has uh, that's been kind of created. There's there's some there's some quirky things down here but you know most of the time there's a tree there's a house there you know there's a combination of those things really really good really amazing really i mean look at that what so clever so creative Oh, that's a big creative tree. Look at this tree. That's, that's wild. That's very good. Uh, and remember, all this is all this is hand built stuff. So you know that, like, okay. So let's give you a, a clue. So when we, because I've got access to the server and things like that. Uh, I can actually see how long people have spent in here. So cumulatively, which means if you add up all the hours people have spent on here, people have spent nearly a whole year. <laughs> this has only been going for about two months. People have nearly spent the amount of time people have spent in here making all this stuff. <laughs> it's so cute and, and adorable. Uh, they've spent over, nearly over a year making stuff, you know, in, in you know, if we add everybody's weeks up together, all the hours people have spent in here, all that kind of stuff. And it shows because all of this stuff is exceptionally uh, creative and people have spent time and thought. Look, I mean, the thought, the detailing, the utter gorgeousness of some of the builds is stunning. Um, so a, a huge congratulations to everybody who's made stuff in here, has made the effort to come in with their friends, hopefully, or just on their own to make something memorable and fun um, and meaningful and told a story of their own. Really, really cool. So um, that... Oh. This look at the color, the color. Let's go in this last one, and then I'm going to go back and uh, check out. Oh, oh! <laughs> I say that was a surprise. You see, there is that's magic. That's just a magical build, isn't it? Very, very cool. Very cool. If I can get out, that'd be. Even cooler. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to just do this. I'm going to visit Cage off uh, for the last little bit and see how you're getting on. Um, I love the uh, the glass bit at the front over here. It's going to look really cool. I'm very excited about all this. I can't wait to see how it turns out. I'll have another look tonight. I'm going to come back later on. But uh, 
I'm going to call it a day for now. So um, th let's see how many people are on the server right now. There's, um, there's not very many, which is quite good. It's uh, Saturday afternoon. We come to the end of this project, I think, kind of a natural end to it. Uh, people have kind of made their things. You are able. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's your close up. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> um, yeah, so thanks very much for everybody for um, for joining me on this thing. And if you've if you've been here live, thank you so much for being here live. If you've uh, if you're watching it uh, afterwards, thank you very much for joining me uh, and watching the stream. If you're interested in the Great North Air Ambulance, there's a link below. You can kind of follow that link and learn a bit more about their work and stuff like that. And if you can make a donation to them. Uh, they'd be very, very grateful, and so would I, uh, for any kind of donations that you make towards that. Um, let's uh, let's fly up and just look at across the vista of all these houses and stuff like that. So th this, what I've done during the streams, so I've uh, uh, I've explored two recent projects that I've been uh, I've been privileged to be in charge of, or, or help build and things like that. Kathy, hi, hi, hi. Uh, I'm I'm wrapping up, unfortunately. I'm just about to to end my stream because I'm going to have to go and pick up my family from the house that they've been cleaning because I've been skiving off doing this amazing Minecraft thing. Anyway, good to meet you and thank you for turning up to the stream. I really do appreciate it. Uh, the stream will be available very shortly and you'll be able to see all the kind of different things I've been uh, doing. If you're at all interested in seeing any of the projects, don't forget that uh, if you go to um, a book week and you put the server address in, which is, uh, uh, I can't really pronounce it, but um, there it is on the screen right now. Uh, I think I did put it into the chat as well. So you can go there, have a look at the book week one. This is a Netherlands uh, book week project uh, that I've been, uh, I've been working on. And that's a plot world and pretty amazing um, bookshop at the center of it as well. I, John L. Darius, I still, I don't really upload very often, but I, I'm doing a little charity stream right now, so that's why I'm here um, uh, and um, uh, and participating. So thanks uh, thanks for popping your head through the door. Uh, so this, uh, let me just uh, fly up and I'll show you what, um, what I've been doing. So mainly what I do now, John and Kathy, is that I make Minecraft maps for education and for different organizations. Um, and this is a couple of the examples that I've been doing in this stream. Uh, so uh, hopefully next year I will be returning to do some more YouTube things. And I've got, uh, I've actually got um, some really interesting video projects uh, turning up. Last, the, the, earlier this year, the beginning of this year, I actually worked with the Royal Shakespeare Company and uh, we were experimenting with uh, theatre and Minecraft and kind of how the combination of those two things happen. So I've been and I've got more work down the line. So hopefully uh, we'll be making some really interesting stuff that you guys can really enjoy and, and watch on YouTube and things like that and participate in as well if you're interested at all. Uh, you can find me on the Common People at uh, on Twitter and if you've got any questions, um, any uh, requests or anything like that that you're interested in, let me know there, and I'll be able to. I'll be able to. I'll. I will definitely respond. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Sorry if you're a bit late, or you know, or you didn't know that I was doing any of this. Still, it doesn't happen very often. So, um, well done for bumping into it. Uh, take care of yourselves. Hope you have a lovely weekend, and I'll see you all shortly. Take care of yourselves now. Bye.